Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your marked lines and run them all the way around your material so you know exactly where you're working with and what you're cutting with. Now, you will need a tri square and a sharp pencil, okay? So, no blunt pencils, please. If you need to sharpen it, please do. Okay, so these are my two marks that I've made uh, to make my blockhead, and this is where I'm eventually going to cut through. But if I'm working with my pine and say I'm cutting this way, but all of a sudden I need to flip it over, it's really handy to have that line on the other side as well. Now, I could just remeasure it and remark it, but that takes time. So, I'm going to show you a nice, quick, easy way to do it. So, once you've made your lines, all you're going to do using your sharp, sharp pencil is you're going to continue these lines just very gently. You're just going to mark them so they continue on the other edge look. All right, and you're going to do that on both sides. So we're just going to get our pencil, very lightly mark it, there we go. So if we turn it, we can see exactly where those lines would run. So far so good? Excellent. Next we're going to get our tri-square, and we're going to rest it so the stock, which is this bit here, is right along the edge, and we're going to move it so the blade, which is this long metal bit, is underneath our lines we've just marked take your time with this it is fiddly okay and then using my sharp sharp pencil there you go I'm just gonna mark that line so far so good fingers crossed there we go so all I've done so far is I've extended that line look so it goes along that edge and now I'm gonna do the same on this edge here so rest your stock right against the material we don't want it at an angle it has to be right against the material bring it up so that the blade which is this bit is right under that mark that we made previously and then using our sharp sharp pencil huzzah look at that oh can you see there look i went a little bit under so can you see if i bring that close see look my pencil line is there and i've got underneath it so that's why you need to take your time so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move that up that's better that's a much better continuation there see that much more accurate so what i can do with my eraser is I can try and rub that out just a little bit. All right, so next step, we're gonna take our time with this, whoops. There you go, so right under the pencil line. There you go, using our sharp, sharp pencil. There you go, like a pro, look at that. Excellent. So, so far, I've continued my line so they go along each edge, but I need it on this side. So I'm gonna do the exact same process again. I'm gonna take my pencil line and I'm very gently and accurately just going to continue my line so it runs on the other side, look. Do that here as well. Do take your time with it, don't rush it, because if you rush it, you'll make a mistake like I did previously. There we go, not bad at all. Now hopefully, when I take my tri-square and I move it up, the blade should go under both those pencil lines, which they do, look at that. Excellent. Get my sharp sharp pencil, run the line along, huzzah, move my stock up, a little bit uneven on this side so I have to check it, Ooh, move up a little bit more, there we go, pencil, oh and look at that guys, there we go, so what I've done there is I've taken my cutting line and I've managed to get it all the way around my material so no, ma no matter how I'm holding it, I'll know exactly where I'm cutting. And the final thing I'm going to do here, because this is the line we're going to cut, using my pencil, I'm just going to hatch it out. So I'm not colouring it in. All I'm doing is putting some little cross lines around or through that gap, sorry. So this tells me that that is where I'm cutting. Excellent, not bad. 